Welcome in Aquarius. Welcome to Ocean's Tarot Garden. How are you guys doing? All right, so today we're going to be doing a guided message. Let me just... Because I feel like it's needed, okay? Let that cleanse your energy. All right, so today we're going to be doing a guided message for you guys. And this is going to be for all placements of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Whenever you see this message, then this message is for you. Take what's only for you. Leave what's not for you behind. Okay. Um, if you didn't see, I have already announced how we'd be doing my 1K giveaway for reaching 1K um, subscribers. I will not be giving away a free reading, but I will be giving away $300. And the way you can get the $300 is by subscribing to my channel and commenting up on things um, you know, the more you interact on my, my, uh, readings that allows me to know who gets the bonus reading, then you can comment up on the bonus reading. You can like them, you can share the videos. And the more you interact with me on my, on my readings, on my videos, um, you have a higher chance of winning and the winner will be selected at the end of March. I have put everything on my community page so you can check that out. It doesn't have to be just the new videos. You can go back and watch old videos or whatever you're drawn to at the time. And yeah, so I just want to give back and show my appreciation for you guys helping me get here. So all I want y'all to do is interact, like, comment, share, you know, do a lot. Um, do all you can. Okay, Let, let's get this channel jump in. All right, so there was a song because I pulled a song for each sign because I'm doing Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini today. And Aquarius, the song that I got downloaded for you was Fuck You by CeeLo. That's the energy that I'm feeling. And it could be, you could be like, forget somebody else. But I don't know why when I hear this song, I've never seen this video. Um, but I see you guys riding in a convertible. And it's just like hair blowing in the wind, sunglasses on. Like it's giving me so carefree. So I feel like you guys are in a free energy. I can see polka dots, pink, yellow. I see green color. I see the color green. So you guys can be seeing polka dots. You can be seeing the color green, yellow, uh, pink and yellow polka dots. These are just signs of you being in your carefree energy. Okay. So I'm going to be using my infinite wisdom of chakras just to see what spirit has to say before we start this reading i will be reading from the book since i am not really familiar with this deck off the strength that i don't use it that much so okay you have 25 which is seven five six seven which is deer okay the deer compassion Accept everything as it is and find compassion for all in this situation. Compassion. Bring awareness into the situation is what Spirit is saying. So I guess you guys are really carefree right now. And I feel like you guys could be like, man, y'all been telling me to put myself first, put myself first, put myself first. Or forget about these other, you know, the other dramas or whatever it may be. And now you want me to be compassionate? Hmm. What's they always say? You ain't got to like me, but you gonna respect me? You don't have to... I don't even feel like you have to respect them or like them, but sometimes you have to understand a person's point of view or hear out their point of view. It may not make sense to you, but sometimes just listening and maybe it'll dwell on you later, right? And the only example that I can give of what I'm feeling um, that spirit is trying to tell me to tell you guys when it comes to this compassion in all situations, because I feel like it's people who's fucked you over and they want you to be compassionate with them. And I really feel that like y'all ain't trying to hear that shit. I really do. Okay. I really feel like y'all ain't trying to hear all that. Um, my example would be. 
me and my mother don't have the best relationship. I didn't grow up with her. Um, it's very uh, strained, right? But when I first got on my spiritual journey, somebody who's very anxious or very nervous, that's an Aquarius that watches this video. And you're very alert and pay attention to your surroundings. Somebody suffers from PTSD. Somebody is very, very, very nervous, very stressed. I feel that because my leg is shaking hard. But back to my story. Me and my mom don't have the best relationship. Um, when I started my journey and I decided to do shadow work for like six months, it took me six months to do the whole process of shadow work. One of the things was who can I not stand and what can I not stand about them? And then it was like, do you carry those same qualities within that person, right? So I went through that. Then it was just like, sometimes basically the shadow work was like the person that you have the hardest relationship or the person that brings you the most pain or whatever it may be, or because of how they treated you. Sometimes you have to step back and understand their trauma. So my mom brought trauma into my life, a lot of trauma in different ways. But I had to realize that she wasn't able to be who I needed her to be because she was never able to pop process her drama and the things that happened to her. However, she has voiced them to me over and over again. And the things that her vices had come because of the things that were done to her, it allowed me to be more compassionate and understanding to why she treats me the way she treats me or why she does things that she does. But at the same time, even though I'm compassionate, I've learned that I can only handle you with a long handled spoon at a distance with boundaries. Because even though I understand why you do the things you do, or I understand the trauma that you've been through, and I can sympathize with you, and I can be compassionate with you, I also have to make sure that I protect myself from being and feeling those negative feelings. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's where spirit is wanting you to go with that okay so i'm gonna read what it says in this book 25. <clears throat> the qualities of compassion are reflected in our understanding of the heart as empathetic beings, we can sense others' suffering and strife. It is sometimes hard to separate our own feelings from those that we perceive. It is through the patience of compassion that we can have better understanding without taking it in, taking it on as our own. In the natural world, we find symbols that remind us of the gentle nature of compassion. The deer is an animal totem that represents innocence, gentleness, and compassionate nature. Okay, compassion invites all parties to be present with situations as they arise. This is also a teaching of the Buddha. Become like the gentle deer and find compassion for all beings in your heart. This is a reminder that compassion is called for in your current situation. The heart chakra is as vast as the universe and has the ability to expand as compassion grows. A heart wide open in this world helps us to build grace that grace is never ending. If feeling compassionate takes you into a place beyond your boundaries, take note. There's a difference between being there as support and trying to fix things for others. Picture the grace and gentleness of the deer who tends its young. As you practice more compassion and action in your heart, your heart chakra will respond in kind and the more natural it will be each time. Welcome this message as an opportunity to build a practice that will support not only your growth and healing, but also assist the energy of the world. Your power statement happens to be, I am a river of compassion and I flow to all who needs me. I feel like that just doubled back on what I said, <laughs> to be honest with you guys. All right, so we're gonna see. All right, what do 
we got here, Spirit? What's the guidance from our Aquarius? You have manifest grounding and detach, right? And I'm not going to read what's on these cards, but I'm going to tell you what I feel. You have to think from a different level. And I feel like spirit is trying to get you to um, get outside of yourself and to be what you want to attract. To be what you need from others. Okay. And this is going to be, for a lot of you guys, it's a place of grounding yourself. It's a place of showing your strength from within. It's a place of detaching yourself from what you feel like things should be, what you feel like things are, um, and actually seeing it from another point of view. I just keep getting point of view here. And I'm looking at this detached card and I'm thinking about all that was said and all that I feel here. And sometimes, Aquarius, you get offended. And I feel you're easily offended. You're easily hurt. And as a water barrier, I believe that's what you, a water carrier, water barrier, or whatever an Aquarius is. Because a lot of people think you're a water sign, but you're really an air sign. But I feel like... Aquarius, you, you think with your, I feel like you're an emotional thinker. I'm trying to figure out how to work this. I feel like you're an emotional thinker. Like you will overthink the emotions of things into the place where you detach from the reality of the situation. And then you create this lavish persona of what things are, how a person feels or why they treated you like this, right? And this person who may have offended you may not have the intentions to offend you, nor may they have known they offended you. And they're thinking things are okay. And they may feel like you're overreacting, but your, your, your emotions are valid. But it's like you have to sit down and have those conversations with people and see their side and understand their side. And then you have to allow yourself to detach from your triggers, your emotions, to see that you were never a target is what I'm feeling, okay? So, it's like taking yourself out of being the main character <laughs> and realizing that something was not what you thought it was. It's time to kind of step back. And it's like you're creating this illusion of how things were to be. And it's like, instead of getting offended, instead of getting aggressive, instead of being, um, it's like when you get offended, it's, it's like an emotional target for you. And you act emotionally, erratically emotionally, erratically emotionally, yeah. And it causes a ripple effect that should have never happened or didn't have to happen. And then, it, and then it's hard to regrow those connections, those bonds or whatever with people, right? That could have been something that blossomed into something beautiful. If you outgrow somebody, you outgrow somebody. But it's just saying kind of be compassionate to where a person is coming from. Um, also be compassionate to yourself is what I'm feeling. Because you don't, what, what is it that makes you feel so offended easily? What happened to you? That, if, that made you feel like you were always offended? Or what did you, who did you see that was always so easily offended that you picked up their mannerisms of being always easily offended? But it's definitely getting outside of yourself and detaching from what you feel things are the root of the problem or feeling like you have to stand on business about situations and things like that to get the outcome that you want. And really just stepping back and being like, you know what, I... I I kind of understand where you're coming from, even though it really hurt. I, I see where you're coming from. And maybe I did overreact because, you know, this triggered me because blah, 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 blah. 
It's like you have to acknowledge yourself and you have to acknowledge that person at the same time and kind of kind of detach from being that main character. Uh, the example that I could give for that, um, if I have one, okay, I had um, a friend and then I had a friend who had a friend. So we became mutual friends based off of this one friend, right? And me and my friend had a fallout. So of course her and her friend continued the friendship and I didn't continue the friendship with either one of them because we were just friends off of the strength of my one friend. We were never just like buddy buddies. Um, and years went by and I was angry, I was frustrated. I was still pissed off, still wanting to knock a bitch tooth out um, all these years later. And I remember getting on social media and seeing that the mother had, the girl's mother had passed away and I did know her mother as well and her mother, was so sweet to me. It was I just loved her, okay? I loved the mother. Um, grew a relationship with the mother as well. And in that very moment, even though I had so much anger, hatred, or resentment towards that person, all of that went out the door and my compassion stepped in. And when I showed up to the funeral, the girl turned around and looked at me and surprised. And I told her like, we like, I had to put our indifference, our differences aside, and I couldn't allow that to make me be like, well, fuck her, and you know, I'm gonna stay at home, like whatever, because no, in that moment, I know she needed every friend that she could have, whether we were really close or not, because in that moment, I had to see things from her side and put our differences aside, I had to get out of that main character role and things like that, and I feel like that's, that's where it's going. There's somebody here that you may be, um disconnected from but however you know something is happening in their life and it's not gonna hurt you or make you less of a person or make you weaker or make you anything just because you show compassion or concern for what they're going through okay so you have the nine of swords so it's being like get out of your own contempt like you rather stay in the jail cell to prove a point than to walk free, right? And sometimes proving a point ain't all it is to be, okay? So it's definitely having this change of mind that's needed here, okay, Aquarius? It's just like needing to free yourself, okay? Because there's somebody here who needs you and it's time to open up that pathway and connect with them. It's time to open up and show compassion because somebody either lost a loved one or they're needing a loved one or whatever it may be. But it's like you stepping in and you being able to show compassion um, in places that you are getting out of that erratically emotional stage or, you know, kind of detaching from situations and seeing things. That healing is going to be what allows you to feel free, okay? Not only because you were compassionate to them and it feels good, but it also allows you to free yourself and heal some kind of part of you. So you need to allow. You're, you're being asked to open your energy fields to take down your walls of protection in order to allow goodness into your life. Sometimes without even realizing it, we block ourselves from the flow of life. It's safe to open yourself back up. It's safe to rekindle friendships. It's safe to be compassionate. It's safe to be open and honest. It's safe to be expressive and also hear somebody's other side. All right? That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Until next time.